Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where our USA road trip continues with the fifth park of the trip and we're here at Wildermere in Pennsylvania. It's the fifth park of the trip with five coasters. Hey, <laughs> including Ravine Flyer 2. A lot of people talk about this wooden roller coaster so I'm really excited to get on it. And yeah, along with that it's free to park, it's a free admission amusement park too and it's family owned which I really like these charming parks. I know, it is nice when it's free to enter because it means you can just go on what you want. Yeah, definitely. And, um, really looking forward to this here today. We can also film on-ride POVs. It's my first time coming to this park and we're right on the edge of Lake Erie. I'm very close now to Cedar Point that's going to be coming up next as well so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah really looking forward to this so come and join us as we enjoy Wildermere Park. Open today from 12 till 9. The park dates back to 1896 and has got some historical attractions here too including a very historic dart ride that I cannot wait to experience. And yeah here's a look at the full park map so you can see it all there. What's really interesting about Ravine Flyer 2, it goes over the road, Charlotte, through a tunnel. Unique, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is, you can just see it at the top here. Like, that's really interesting. We're gonna have a great view of Lake Erie from on there too. We've also got the water park over there off to the right. And yeah, it looks really nice and picturesque. Classic American amusement park. As you can see, number nine, we've got a nice chairlift down the middle here too that I am really looking forward to. Inside the park then now, and look at the chairlift there. Cannot wait to get on that. And yeah, like we say, it's free to enter. You got your wristband on there, Charlotte. Oh, you do, there it is. Yeah, you got the wristbands online, and then it means you can skip the queues when you come down here to the entrance. Yeah, really nice, classic American amusement park feel. Lots of flat rides here. You got Comet off to the right there, which is a classic wooden roller coaster. But we're gonna head down to Ravine Flyer 2 first. Yeah, heard so much about this coaster over the years. So I'm looking forward to giving it a go. I think gets ranked as a top 10, Woody. Well, it's a Sunday today and it's pretty quiet. Here's a look at the entrance to Ravine Flyer 2. So yeah, this opened in 2008. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to giving it a go. It's actually a hybrid coaster. So it's got the steel support structure and then the wooden track, as we can see just there. Oh, I love the lifter with the flags on just there. Really excited to give this a go. And like I say, on-ride filming is permitted. So let's go and get on. Oh, here come that awesome PTC train, and that's what I love about this. Runs PTCs and was designed by the Gravity Group. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Hey! And we've got a dispatch straight onto the front row. Woo -hoo -hoo! Climbing up the left. I'm really liking what I'm seeing already from this park. And we're going to get a great view of Lake Erie from up here. And yeah, we're going to pass over the road through a tunnel on this ride. Oh, wow, what a view. Oh, oh, oh that is stunning. Wow. Wow. What the best views of a coaster. It's steep. Here we go, we're being flying too. That was really twisty. And I'll tell you what, the views of the lake were amazing from there. Oh, that was great. That was a really good, solid coaster. Oh, it was indeed. <laughs> Well, with no way, we thought it'd be rude not to come straight back round and have a back row. We've heard you get some great airtime on the back. I sat on the left this time for that view of Lake Erie. The location for this coaster, spectacular. That is gorgeous. Here we go, we're gonna get whipped out. Oh, 
Ready for this, here we go! an excellent coaster what a beast back to back rides there on ravine fire too and people have said to me in the past sean if you're going to see the point and driving up that way make a stop at while there to come and ride this and i can see why it's certainly not disappointed that coaster has really exceeded expectations it's an amazing ride it really is oh it packs a punch that did we did a front and a back i do prefer the front because the back was just so wild so fast. yeah really intense down there at the back the crazy thing is the lift hill that you can see there behind us that looks gorgeous by the way with the flags on at the top is only 80 foot tall but it really utilizes the hillside location firstly the views of lake Erie are amazing but then you actually drop down nearly 120 feet off the side that lovely bank drop there's lots of tunnels throughout there's some great twisty elements where literally one minute you to the left next minute to the right making the transitions absolutely awesome and they're really fast they're really snappy aren't they, they as are well quite snappy but it's all about the view the view was fantastic yeah if this ride was just on a car park it wouldn't be the same it's really about the location one of the best views ever from a roller coaster looking out at uh, lake erie i was just trying to look for top door dragster in the distance <laughs> like but uh, no that was absolutely amazing front row back row we'll be having multiple rides on that today it really is the big signature ride at this park and uh, i'm so pleased that we made the stop here today to come and see this because it's absolutely fantastic ravine flyer too it's wild it's vicious um, but also it's pretty smooth too um yes it knocks you about a little bit but it's not like um you it's know unbearable no it's just a nice um level i think that's partially helped by the PTC trains that it's running. Normally, I'm not a big fan of Gravity Group trains and they take away from the ride. That isn't the case with this. Gravity Group built it, but it's got the PTC trains, which is fantastic. Right then, we're gonna head onto this classic chairlift now. It really caught our attention as soon as we pulled up on the parking lot, didn't it? so cute, I really like it. Let's get some good views up there as well. Yeah, we'll get to see some of the other rides on offer and it's called the Sky Ride. Oh, this one's open, let's go and ride. Classic frog hopper down there. Hey, see those at so many parks. And yeah, lots of rides for the kids here it seems. Family Park, Waldemere. It's a lot more green here than I was expecting. Like, I love all the trees. Really nice location. Yeah, the horns down there. It's like a clown horn, isn't it? <laughs> Pirate Trooper over there, you've got the water park to the side, and there's Comet, the classic Woody that we'll head over to next. Hey, you're on YouTube! Theme Park Worldwide! <laughs> it's called Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. <laughs> Don't think he has a clue. Oh, Larson Drop Tower over there, looking forward to that. And there's a look at Comet, classic Woody. So many classic wooden coasters this trip. Amazing. Part number five of our American adventure. There's a look at chaos over on the other side. You got a Music Express down there, Scrambler. And yeah, that's literally the entrance down here in the car park. Off to the side, I do like how nice and easy it is there. Like your car's parked there, you just nip out if you want to. Worth pointing out, it's much cooler today. Charlotte's got her leggings on today. Yeah, it's a bit cold today, isn't it? Well, you say cold, I mean, it's still like 22, but cooler, when, you, when you've had like 34, <laughs> you know, it does feel a bit cooler. We've got a train over there, the El Ruth Express. So we'll have a ride on there too. Nice fountain down there at the bottom. Zampo the Disco over there, and yeah, into the turnaround section here now. There's not another station up this side, you just turn around and go the other way. Oh, lovely flowers. You can tell we're up by the lake now. It's much windier here. And yeah, heading back the other way now. Better view this side. You can just see Ravine Flyer too, and we'll get a better angle of that in a couple of minutes. No, oh, already that's a fantastic angle, isn't it? Lake Erie there in the distance, all the flags on the lift. The pirate ship swinging up high. And the sound of a classic Woody in the background here. Beautiful. Oh, and now past that support, the view really opens up. You can see the lake off to the left there too. Way swinger down there in the background. 
Gorgeous. But a little bit chilly. Ooh. <laughs> Right then, we had our ride down the Sky Ride, and the view from that was beautiful, wasn't oh, it? Oh, was it was lovely up there. It was a little bit chilly, though. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I might have to go and put my hoodie on. Oh, no, yeah. no, it's still nice and warm, just compared to what it's been like, though. It's you just know. been so hot. Yeah, it just feels cooler, doesn't it? Because we've been used to the heat this trip so far. Uh, but you know what? The weather has treated us really well this trip so far, oh, hasn't it's it? It's been great. No big storms or anything like that. We were close at Kennywood, but we were only had an hour out of the day, which is good. Uh, but uh, anyway, we're going to make our way onto Comet now, which is just here. It's a wooden roller coaster that opened back in 1951. Another classic Woody on this trip. Let's go and give it a go, first time. Two trains in service, waiting a couple of minutes and we're off. Woo, we've got a really nice vibe here. Kind of reminds me of Knobles in a little way here. Like staff are really friendly, it's a really happy vibe. And that's the case though when you come away from the big kind of corporate owned parks as well. As much as I love visiting though, it's always great coming to the family parks. We're down here at the back. There's the water park, looks pretty good, nice and clean. Oh, round the trees. Kind of reminded me a little bit of Blue Flyer at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Oh, it's a really cute little wooden coaster that was. And yeah, lots of history to it as well, which is great. And it was pretty smooth as well, which was nice. It needed just a little bit of padding because my knees kept touching the front. <laughs> yeah, the trains are a lot smaller yeah, on there, aren't they? Cute. Yeah, it was nice. I think that's the thing. It's a good little kind of starter wooden coaster. People coming to this park and building up to go on Ravine Flyer too, yeah, really. Yeah, that's a big one. It go. is, yeah. It's like two complete differences there. Yeah, it really reminded me of Blue Flyer and just some of the smaller um, wooden coasters that there is out there. But it was nice. Quite a good layout on there. Lots of bunny hills. It was good fun. On to coaster number three then, it's Whirlwind. Just a standard SBF Visa spinning coaster this one, but it's walk-on. So let's go and give this a go. Thought it was going to be really busy here today, but yeah, it's nice and quiet. Hello. And here we go on our first spinning coaster of the day. Yeah, they've got a Mara spinner just around the corner, so we'll get on that. Like a good Mara spinner. Wacky Shack, that's the dark ride just over there. And yeah, I believe they've got another classic walkthrough, pirate themed. And that's just next door here. Hey. Yeah, Pirate's Cove. Hey. There's a log flume over there. I can't see it operates at the moment. There's some staff around though, so maybe it'll open. Oh, it's got a bit of a rattle about it, this, yeah, hasn't it? it has. Normally quite smooth, these. Yeah, it's a bit shaky, this one. There's Alibaba just over there. Woo, quite a few flats to get on and enjoy. Whoa. It's probably the most uncomfortable one of these I've been on actually. It's really yeah, it is, I'm quite surprised. Whirlwind. Whoa. Yeah, that's really weird. There you go, coaster three of five. We'll get on the Mara Spinner next. I can just see it down there. Looks pretty good. Yeah, nothing to shout about with that. Just a standard SPF spinner, but perfect for a park like this to have something for the kids like that, isn't it, really? It's a little bit of a rattle, didn't it? Yeah, not the most comfortable there. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Steel Dragon, which is a Mara spinning coaster that opened in 2004. Colour scheme, the same as Spinball Wizard. Oh, it looks like a little mini version of it. Yeah, back at Alton Towers in the UK. And yeah, in the same year as well. Hello, Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. Hey. Let's go and give it a go. There's a lion over here. Rawr. Steel Dragon. Wait, 
less than five minutes and we're off on this nice spinny coaster. I feel like I'm on spin ball wizard. Up we go. Yeah, they got a log flume over there too. Nice view coming up the lift backwards. Lake Erie again. And here we go. Oh, steep drop. Oh, nice and smooth. I'm pretty sure this is the same layout as Whirlwind that used to be at Camelot in the UK. Over bank. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh, this location of this park. Whoa. S bands. Hey. Oh, this is a great ride. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Woo! Oh, some great forces there. Oh, that was brilliant. Really enjoyed that. Great ride, painted up nice as well, well looked after. Steel Dragon. Oh, classic Mara. Really enjoyed that, and yeah, we hardly waited for it as well, which made it even better. Really good layout on there. Some great drops, some good turns. The overbank was nice on there too. That rode so well. I really enjoyed that. I love Marathon Spinner. Yeah, they're always great. And with that, quite a compact layout as well. Um, but it was really good fun. And yeah, well looked after and painted up nicely as well. Anyway, let's keep on riding this afternoon here at Wildermere Park. Right then, we're going to make our way onto Wacky Shack just here now. A classic dart ride at Wildermere. It dates back to 1970. Looking forward to giving this a go. Love a good dart ride. Look at the outside of it with the eyes. And yeah, the building itself is really nice. It's got that proper classic vibe about it. So yeah, let's go and give this a go. It's Wacky Shack. There it goes. Ooh. I love the announcement. All the bugs and critters on there. Gained about 20 subscribers in the queue line. <laughs> they love it. Oh, oh wow. That is so pretty. Oh. I've never seen a dog ride with anything like that before. That is brilliant. Oh, it's really eerie this. We're in like a spaceship. Really tell on the video but it's like on a slant all the track rat. whoa big rat <laughs> oh. <Yeah. Hey. laughs> and that was fantastic some really unique stuff in there now you know me viewers, I love a good dark ride, especially one that's got a lot of history to it. That was fantastic. I'd seen some effects in there that I've never seen before on a dark ride, which was amazing. Oh, that was brilliant. That scene where you was going through and then opening the doors was really good. Yeah, it was cool. You couldn't really see it on camera and you couldn't see it on the ride, which made it. And the odd massive black doors, but then you just had the UV light shining on the orange paint. So it looked like there were just squares that you were going through. Very cool effect. Never seen anything like that done before. Along with that as well, the scenes near the end, the whole room was kind of on a slant and the track was on a slant too. Yeah, and you kind of go into the side getting some lateral forces. I really enjoyed that. It's one of my favorite rides of the trip so far. Classic dark ride, like it was just a brilliant that attraction. That sitting in the spaceship, 
It's a really eerie, weird atmosphere. Out the front, you can tell all's not quite right with this very colourful building. And inside, it's kind of ghost train and kind of fun house. It's really weird. So weird. I enjoyed that a lot. It's got me excited for this pirate walkthrough now. Not a ride, this one, just a walkthrough. Let's go and see that. And here it is. It's called Pirate's Cove. So let's go and have a walk through here and see what it's like. Great facade. This is cool whilst you're waiting outside. It's like everyone's in a big cage. Here's me on the morning, waiting to go to the next park on the US trip. Oh, get me on with being flight two. <laughs> We're now in the big cage. Waiting about five minutes. He's coming to here, just spacing people out. <laughs> oh. This is cool. Similar style effects to on the dark ride. We've got fans blasting cold air at us. We don't need that. We've got that outside today. It's chilly. I think it's supposed to simulate that we're out at sea. Big shark man. I think it's a barracuda. That's what, a barracuda? Trippy just walking around like this with the mirror ball going so fast. Oh, it's a sideways room. <laughs> oh, what are we looking at in there? Rats, skulls, bones inside there. <laughs> yeah, it's on a real slant, this room. This is cool. Just been through loads of dark corridors where it was pitch black. Look at him. Some barrels in here. I feel like I'm in a scare age now. Walking around here. Or a haunted house, as you'd say here in America. Oh! <laughs> more fans around here, more wind. <laughs> That's cool. Quick sun. Sorry mate, I don't think you can get him back out. This is a fantastic walkthrough. That reminds me of like the classic scenes that you find on Pirates of the Caribbean or the Disney parks where you can kind of see through his body. <laughs> it's really weird this, isn't it? It's got a very eerie vibe around it. All the mirrors and bars. Oh, we got a pirate down the toilet there. I think this is the end. Oh, looks like I can see light, I think so. Oh, we got some flaps. <laughs> That was another really nice classic here at Waldemere. I love attractions like that where you go in not knowing what to expect at all. It looked like quite a small building from outside, but it went on for quite a while inside, didn't it? Yeah, I didn't realise it was going to be that big, going around each corner not knowing what to expect. Mysterious is what I liked with that. You didn't turn the corners, you didn't know what you were going to see next. Anyway, up next we're going on this drop tower. I believe it's a Larson Tower, so it should be pretty forceful. Tilt a world just down there as we climb up here on Scream. The drop tower, Alibaba. It's got a really nice charm about it, this park. I do like the free to enter parks like this, and you just pay for ride or buy your wristbands. We're really good like this. I've sat around this side hoping for a fantastic view, and I don't think I'm going to be disappointed. Ravine, Flyer, so. <laughs> and Lake Erie just out there. Yeah, Lake Erie is absolutely humongous. Like I said, it looks like the sea. Oh, you see the beach up there. No messing about on these Larson Towers. As soon as we get to the top, we just drop straight away. Oh, look at that kind of peninsula. It looks like a peninsula from here. I'm not sure if it is. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> them towers are amazing, honestly. So forceful. Oh, that was brilliant. Really enjoyed X Scream just there and the views at the top. 
really made that. The location of this park on the edge of Lake Erie is absolutely fantastic. As it's right next door, we're going on the nice classic Tilt-A-Whirl now. You see these at a lot of American amusement parks. And we're off here on the Tilt-A-Whirl, there's Charlotte. Have a nice spin around. Hey. Whoa! You get going good these here, I do like these. Proper classics. Yeah, really enjoying it here at this park. I love coming to places for the first time. Still got eight new parks for me to discover on this trip. And just, well, 20 new parks for Charlotte. Oh, no, <laughs> Crazy. So much still to cover. Eight just literally getting started. Nearly a weekend. Part number five. Whee. Nice rides, these. Like a slow version of the Walter. Well, that was good fun, and we're going from ride to ride today here at Waldemere. Going on Alibaba now, and yeah, hopefully, we'll get a nice view from up here. Love the fountain package out the front just here, too. There's Charlotte down there. <laughs> hey. Should get a great view from up there. I still can't get over how awesome Wacky Shack was. I really liked that. Fantastic classic dark ride that was. Hey. Fountain package is really nice as well at the bottom. Right next door to the log room. Hey. Oh, I do like these. Yeah, I'll have to jump on the Ferris wheel as well. I'll get some great views from up there. Of Lake Erie. Woo! Hey! Oh, what a gorgeous view over the park. Really nice here. about ravine flyer too is it's so hidden as well like you can just see the lift hill a few of the other smaller sections yeah the rest of the ride is just hidden on the side of the hill which is fantastic <laughs> alibaba <laughs> aladdin <laughs> there on the tilt a whirl and also just had another ride on the awesome ravine flyer 2 like i said it was built in 2008 and yeah i've just spotted this board here with all lots of facts on which is really interesting 60 degree first drop extreme track banking i can certainly say that um, speed over 60 miles an hour 10 spots of airtime. feels like more than that to be honest now there's a full layout showing how it utilizes um, the side of the hill there. Absolutely brilliant. I like here how it says beautiful views of Lake Erie and yeah, lots of other facts. 165 foot arch bridge, six tunnels, 10 crossovers. And I'll tell you what, uh, absolutely fascinating ride. It really is because yeah, there also used to be a coaster here many years ago um, known as Ravine Flyer 1. Uh, and that's been closed for a very long time here at the park. So yeah, it's quite interesting how they built a new coaster in this site and that's why it's called Ravine Flyer 2 if you were wondering throughout this vlog. There's also a Ravine Flyer 3. Yeah, just around this corner. Yeah, and there's a kids coaster. So we're going to check out Ravine Flyer 3 now just around here. Oh, here it is, Ravine Flyer 3 on the sign. This is nice, look, all over water. There you go. What a great location, all over water. And there you've got the big wheel there just behind it that we'll go on to. Go and have a ride. Kitty Coaster, fifth and final credit at this park. Hey! Up we go. This was lovely over the water. I'm sure that Infusion was supposed to be the only roller coaster over water at Pleasure Beach. Hey! <laughs> They're great, these are. Woo! What a way to make it a bit more fun over water. Yay. I better put Charlotte on edge about this. Yeah, it does. Uh, 
lazy river right next to it. Whoa! <laughs> Lovely clean water too. Oh, got a little ride next to it. Oh, that's cute. A little pedal ride for the kids. It was good fun that was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was over war. It's just a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You got a happy swing there just behind you, a balloon ride over here for the kids. You saw the frog hoppers earlier, another little small ride down here too. And we're gonna head down this way. What's the elephant's ears kiosk? There, I'm not too sure. Wally cards. You can get your wally cards, oh, I assume that's what you top up, is it, for the rides? or shops and things like that around the park, I'm not too sure. Rechargeable, get your wallet card. Massive chain down there. We're gonna head up onto this big wheel shortly. We're making our way up to the Ferris wheel. You can see the north end of the park. And a fantastic view of Ravine Flyer 2. Now you know why it's two. <laughs> yeah, way swinging down there. Flying swings, you got the teacups. An SS Wally, Sean Sandbrook's a Wally, there you go. <laughs> oh, the train looks good, we'll have to give that a go. Here's the train track coming down the side. Give that a ride. Yeah, rocking tug. Let's go up here onto the Ferris wheel and get a nice view. I really like it here at Wildermere. I didn't really know what to expect, um, but no, it's a very nice park, very friendly atmosphere. It's got a lot of rides packed in too. Here we are then, on the Ferris wheel. There's a look at the water park. It looks quite nice, doesn't it? That lazy river down there. Very clean, very fresh, quite a lot of slides. And yeah, the train looks like it goes around the back of the water park, so we'll probably get a great view. Oh, and talking of great views, look at that. Oh my God. Look at Ravine Player too, from up here. That is gorgeous. What a location for a park. And yeah, somewhere in that direction, I think, is Cedar Point. Yeah. It, and somewhere over that way is Canada. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what an absolutely brilliant view. It's only a very small park, as I was expecting, but this is what I really thought it was gonna be, a regional park, nice atmosphere, um, lots of rides packed here, and yeah, it's certainly delivered, really like it here. But yeah, from here you get amazing views, looking at Ravine, like look at that, what a coaster. And that's the thing, it's this ride that really brings you to this park. If this that ride wasn't here, I wouldn't have come here to this park, but I'm really pleased that we have done, not just for that ride, but to see the full experience. That's the thing sometimes, oh, there it goes, beautiful. Like a big coaster like that can draw you into the rest of the park. You know, if that wasn't here, we probably wouldn't have visited, you know. So this goes to show what an impact it can have on a small park, putting in a massive ride like that. Wow. Yeah, you can really hear the coaster. It comes all the way back round here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's the, uh, there's the tunnel, over the, the bridge over the road. Yeah, and it's on the other side. Fantastic, yeah, so that's the road. I'm getting my bearings a bit now. Yeah, that's the road at the bottom. You know, the coaster. There we go, we can see it on the other side there. Wow, that is, a, that is amazing. Like, what a design for that. Incredible, like, fantastic. Charlotte's on the picture duty there. Yeah, I was trying to get them, but that didn't follow up. Of course, make sure you give us a follow on social media to see all of our updates. A little preview of what's to come in the vlogs. That is stunning. What a view. Nice little statue just over here. And yeah, there's a look at the paratrooper. Got a lot of charm bands at this park. You got a Waldemere Park sign carved out of the logs over there. We're going to head up towards the train ride now. Something that I've really noticed this trip so far is how many of the parts have got a lot of seating around. It's really nice, isn't it? It's nice to see because you've got to think, if you're coming as a big family, not all of you want to do the ride, you can take a seat in the shade while your kids go off and do a few bits. They have these big kind of undercover seating areas at a lot of these parks, which I think is great. It's got a lot of charm. Who's this over here, Charlotte? Go on this corner. There we go. Who's that? Hey, he's advertising the water park, I think. <laughs> there comes the Woody, Comet. And that's the entrance to the water park just there. 
Yeah. Let's look at the Scrambler and the Music Express just behind it. And yeah, I can just see the train coming in over here now. So we're going to go and have a ride on the train. The Al Ruth Express. All aboard! Oh, this is really well thought about. See, when you're waiting for the train, it's actually a bench all the way down for people to sit on. This is what a really good idea, that. And here we go on the train. Starting off with a nice view of Comet just over here. Looks like they got a lot of slides in the water park here at Wildermere and it all looks really fresh and painted up nicely, which is great to see. Yes, there's that main road. And of course, Ravine Flyer 2 is on the other side. Fascinating that. I'm saying that later this trip, we've got a coaster that goes underneath the car park, so that's going to be really cool. Here's another view of the Lazy River. Steep first drop, isn't it there? Yeah, you see how it's a hybrid coaster with the wooden track and the steel support structure. But it was quite hard to build with the location, especially with the road there too. These little statues they have around the park, very quirky. It's like the sort of thing you'd see like at Efteling in the Netherlands. See how we looped around at the bottom end there, making our way back in this direction. And here you get to see the racer slides just here. We've got a lot of slides. Let's look at Chaos, a pendulum ride that they've got here. Yeah, great selection of flats available. Yeah, loads more seating. As you can see on there, like you tend to get this a lot of the American parks. Have these big picnic areas for like school trips as well. And like they'll put the name of the school on there and that's kind of their base for the day, which is pretty cool. Oh, they've got loads of them, all these kind of covered over areas. That's something that you don't really see in our parks back home. Oh, Barbie. That looks nice, chuck us a sausage. <laughs> Oh, that smells so good. Some seagulls there. There are loads of these covered over areas full of benches in the shade. 
Oh, here's the barbecues. Must be able to rent them. So I run around here on the railroad. Oh, it smells so good. If only you could smell that back home. Or maybe having a barbecue if the weather's nice. Watching this vlog. <laughs> Welcome back to the train station. Please remain seated until the train comes. About 15-minute ride round there on the train, just the one station. It kind of looped round the other end and then came back down this way. But it was nice, that was. Oh, the smell of that barbecue made me so hungry. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, it was good. They sell some giant cookies over there, so I might get one of them. But first, gonna go on chaos just over here, which is that pendulum ride. Yeah, I believe this is the only ride at the park. Actually takes you upside down as well. Big thrill ride. Looks quite new this does. Not too sure when it opened here, but yeah, it looks pretty new. The whole parlor's really fresh though, to be honest. It's got a lovely laid back vibe here at Wildermere. Hey. Probably take about two or three cycles. There's the queue just over here. Maybe about 15 minutes or so. Worth it. And we can take you on. Manufactured by Zamperla. Hey. Woo! Nice and smooth these. There's some good hang time. <laughs> Woo! about 15 minutes there a couple of cycles and yeah it was fantastic I really like those and they're a great addition to a park and yeah they don't take up much of a footprint at all fantastic and yeah whilst I was uh, waiting Charlotte over here oh, delivered the goods oh they were so nice it's just been baked it was lovely and soft massive cookie they're right what three fifty dollars yeah not too bad that not too bad look at the music express here you tend to get a lot of these around in American amusement parks. I mean, we get these back home too, but you typically see loads over here in the States. Really nice day here at Wildermere. Just coming to see somewhere for the first time. Loads of games here too. Looks like we've got a defunct fountain over here. Oh no. <laughs> I think that kid thinks it's a paddling pool. It's not, it's a fountain. And yeah, just down the bottom there, this is Ampilla Disco. You've got a Dodger, you've seen this big building. Which is quite weird. And yeah, just gonna get a few more last bits in here really now. I've also recorded lots of other 4K POVs whilst I've been here today and they'll be coming up on the channel. So stay tuned for those. Lovely carousel over there too. Just gonna have a look at that. And here's a look at the carousel. Look at the tail on that horse. <laughs> Oh, we just had another ride on Comet, and it's a really nice little wooden coaster that is, yeah, fantastic. Love all the bunny hills on there. So we come into the shop here, have a look at the merch. Wildermere Park, $17.99. What we got down there? It's not too bad, $12.99. Yeah, oh, that's quite a good price, isn't it? Yeah. 60 miles an hour with the top speed on there. So for Ravine Flyer too. It's been reduced as well. Yeah, old good. school stickers. It's quite nice. 
Little picture on of the coaster. 1896 on there. American original. I do you like these American shirts? With all the coasters. Ride Waldemar. Nice mug selection down here too. Can't see one for Ravine Flyer too. Yeah, you've got ones with the park on just there. 14.25. Well, it's just gone five o'clock, so we've been at the park for around five hours. I think we've pretty much seen and done anything we want to, haven't we, here today? Yeah, we spent a lot of time just enjoying the atmosphere, getting the rides in. And who's your friend here? I'm not too sure who this is, but it's a bit creepy, I think. You think so? It's like a nice clown. He's got his legs crossed just here. Got his arm out for you, Charlotte. He is a nice clown. He's saying, yeah. Are you having a good day at Waldemar? Yeah. Yeah. That's what he's saying. Well, it's a really nice park here. It's got a lot of charm to it. Look at the paratrooper there. That sign carved out. Yeah, have another go on Ravine Flyer too. I'll make the most of that. Yeah, there's a couple more statues. They've got loads of these around the park. And yeah, there's got that old school kind of charm here. Like these bins, for example. Like he's got his mouth wide open. <laughs> I love the random little bits like that. It's like that building there. Hat Rack Gift House. That's where we were just in the gift shop. Yeah, it's just proper old school, but it's really nice. We've seen some really nostalgic parks. Oh, we've got some mirrors over here. I love how much history there is at American amusement parks. What we're going to look like here. There we go. Hey. <laughs> What's this one like? Oh, there she is. Oh, there we go. We're very tall. <laughs> That'll be us by the end of the trip with all the walking. There we go. Hey. <laughs> I do like these mirrors. Doing all the funny poses. That's Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> you've also got thunder river which is the log flume just over here too and yeah you've got little thunder i reckon the other one's big thunder not big thunder mountain but uh yeah it's a little bit chilly but i'm gonna take you all on are you coming on charlotte no, people are coming off soaked so i don't want to be sat in the car cold on the way back oh okay i'll let you off then i'll let you off but uh here we go thunder river looks pretty quiet gonna go and give this a ride and we'll see what it's like great views of the attraction from the queue line hey oh they don't know why they got that wet if i'm going about on my own i probably won't get too wet it's one of them like when you're in the sun it's fine well, it's just a little bit chilly in the shade today. It's been really quite windy, quite breezy. Well, I've got to take you on. Oh yeah, not too big of a weight up here. Quite a lot of boats running. Nice set of fountains, look at that. Maybe 10 minute wait, something like that. Lovely. What a great day exploring a new part for the first time. Of course, Cedar Point coming up next, somewhere that I'm very familiar with, but Charlotte isn't, so that's going to be really exciting. And then, of course, yeah, going to be heading to another new park, which will be Indiana Beach Boardwalk. I've never been there before. <laughs> hey, oh, God, this feels cold. And here we go. So, yeah, wait about five minutes, and I'm off. Yeah, concrete trough on this one all the way around. Must have been here for quite a while, this. Yeah, it looks like we start off in a tunnel with some misters over here. Would have been a missed opportunity if we didn't have a tunnel. Whee! Woo! Oh, it's a bit chilly. Maybe... Oh! There's a storm brewing. I like the lights on the side. Oh! <laughs> There's Charlotte sitting on the bench thinking, oh, she's got away with it. <laughs> Don't worry, there'll be some more war rides coming up. But yeah, it's quite chilly. I mean, it looks like a gorgeous day, doesn't it? I've got my shorts on, but yeah, it's a bit uh, chilly. I think I might get quite wet on here as well, but I can get changed in the car. Little Thunder. Let's see what Little Thunder's going to do. Could get me quite wet, but I'm um, only one of me in the boat. Oh! Oh, ah, <laughs> that was all right. Yeah, I can imagine there though, a little drop. Woo. If there was, um, yeah, a few of you in there, you get pretty wet coming down that. You know, there's a lot of people like paying for ride here. I think you have to like buy tickets and then scan a band still. 
instead of actually getting like uh, individual ride tickets. Quite interesting. That's nice, that is. Bumpy bumpy. Yeah, probably some another ride on Ravine Player 2 and then that'll be all. Didn't really know how long we'd be here today. I knew it wasn't gonna be like a full day park. But we certainly made the most of it. We'll have been here like six hours. Like I say, park is open until nine o'clock. We've got about a two and a half hour drive, so we may as well get on with the road and head down to Cedar Point, ready for tomorrow. Yeah, you just don't know when you're planning these things, you know, like how much, how busy parts are going to be. It could have been heaving here, could have waited two hours for things, you know. I'm glad we got the spinner, that's closed now by the looks of it. Yeah, all closed up. Must be having some technical problems. The US flag and a member of staff at the top. Seems to be quite the standard in America from a safety point of view, for them to have a member of staff on water rides. And here we go. Big thunder. I reckon. Hey! Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, it was alright that was. That was dealable. <laughs> Everyone's looking like he's got a GoPro. And so many people ask about it today. Oh, and there's all the boat storage. That was good. Oh, you'd have been alright on there, Charlotte. It was fine. You look a bit wet, you do though. To be honest, I think it's one of them. I was on my own in the boat, so I was okay. If there was more, two or more, you get really wet. The drops are pretty steep. There you go, there. so I'd have got soaked. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit chilly. But, it uh, is. I know we're coming towards the end of this vlog. We're just going to do a couple of re rides now. We're going to do the awesome dark ride again. And of course, Ravine Fire 2. Get a little bit more footage in the park for you, and we'll wrap up today's vlog. We just had another ride there on the awesome Ravine Flyer 2. That really is the coaster that brought us here to this park. I remember seeing that being built back in 2008. So it's been great to finally ride it. And yeah, I remember following all the updates during its construction and looking at the location. I think in one day, I'd love to give that a go. And you know what? It's a fantastic ride. Our multiple goes on there today. And yeah, because of that ride, it's brought us to Wildermere and seeing the rest of this fantastic park. We've really enjoyed it. They've got such a large array of rides, which is great to see. I love the Dar ride. That that was so good. Yeah, that is one of my highlights of the day. One of the highlights of the trip, actually. I love a good dark ride, sometimes more than a coaster. And so, uh, yeah, that was absolutely brilliant, too. Along with that, they got a great selection of other rides here at this park, uh, which is fantastic. We really enjoyed the spinning coaster. Yeah, I love Still Dragon. That was really good. Yeah, fantastic ride that was. Along with that comet that you can see again there behind us. Nice little junior wooden coaster, that, wasn't it? Bunny Hills on there, which was good. I enjoyed the sky ride that we did, the log flume, the pendulum ride, the train. Overall, it's just been a great day that pirate walkthrough that we did it's a really nice amusement park we've been here just over six hours it's one of those that you know i didn't know how long we we're going to be here i knew that it was quite small from looking on google maps it's what i tend to do before i go to parks have a look at an aerial view of google maps sometimes you can tell more than an actual park map there and i thought i don't know how long we're going to be here but you know what we've made a good day of it it's been fantastic and of course ravine flyer 2 is a brilliant wooden roller coaster it rode better earlier on than it did just though didn't oh, it it was a little bit too much for me that ride earlier on it didn't really ride like a gravity group and when i say that i think gravity group woodies and hybrids like this have a certain rattle to them they shake quite a lot this didn't really have that earlier on but it certainly did tonight after six hours of running it was running better this morning uh, than it was just but you know what the layout on there is fantastic the fact it crosses over the road the views of lake erie um, it really is a brilliant ride it brought us to this park and uh, i'm really pleased we came here to check it out wildermere it's one that i've always been interested in and uh, since that ride was being built so it's been nice to come here and experience it all and of course film lots of povs next park coming up then our first two-day park of the trip where are we going charlotte we're going to cedar point i am so excited <laughs> i cannot wait to get on steel vengeance oh cedar point ohio so yeah that's it from pennsylvania now we're crossing over into ohio and uh, we're staying on lake erie though because this park's located on the peninsula um, where we're heading to and it's absolutely amazing cedar point it's world famous and of course we're going to have a couple of vlogs coming up from there we're staying in one of their hotels as well the express hotel uh, so we'll film all of that and um, for more of the travel aspects and uh, of course check out our uh, videos over on the sandbrook adventures uh, we film loads of travel on there which has been great too but here from wildermere that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out there and keep on riding see you at cedar point